I am quite impressed with these armaments. I'm all the stronger for the skill of their craftsmen. I don't know. You were pretty strong to begin with. Ta-da! Look! Look, everyone, look! Check out my awesome new duds! Not bad. Not bad. Might look a tad classier if you cut off the price tags. Does anyone else think that Alvin's acting kind of weird? Alvin's always weird. Muse certainly is easy on the eyes, wouldn't you say? I guess. Leave Jude alone <laughs> for half a second and he always comes back with some new girl. Everyone sure has gotten stronger. Especially you. You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Of course. The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to be toned than to be out of shape. Totally. Strength is beauty. I think it's a good look. Buff Mila is the best Mila. <laughs> well, if everyone thinks so, maybe I will try to tone up a bit more. Do it, Mila! Yoked out bazongas! Okay. Yoked out bazongas! I'm not sure you'd want that. Are you really Mila's sister? I am. Although it differs from the way you humans conceive of sisterhood. In what way? I couldn't say. I know little about the human version of the concept. But you brought it up! So, elementally, what kind of spirit are you? Oh my! What temerity to ask such a personal question! Wait, what? <gasps> Alvin! <gasps> you're committing sexual harassment! Wait, hold on. I didn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, okay then. Oh my Sheesh. God. Every bit the painter's sister is, but in a completely different way. Hey, Alvin, why is Tipo always talking about bazongas? What does that even mean? Oh, he finally asks. It seems you're ready to take the first steps towards becoming a man. Why do you have to make everything so weird? <laughs> Forget I even asked. Bazongas are the burning fire at the heart of manhood. <sighs> Rowan? Jude, there are times to play it cool, but a man who fears his own passions is no man at all. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say. I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. Then you will never know Bazongas. You have to want it, Jude. You have to need it. Then teach me about Bazongas. I can barely hear you. You have to mean it. <gasps> Teach me about bazongas! Whoa! Don't go shouting things like that! Don't scold him, Leia. I read about this in a book. It's called Puberty. We're supposed to be understanding and supportive. <laughs> Don't hate us. There's no shame in being burned by the fire of manhood. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me. Thanks to his direct tethering with me, I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude, you direct tethered with her? Uh, yeah. Muse asked me to. Was that bad? <laughs> bad? It's, uh... Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh... <sighs> Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. Mila, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone tell me what is going on with these spirits. Ugh. My neck is killing me. Did you sleep on it wrong? No, it's been this way since I was swept into the Fezabel Marsh Flow. I have a poultice you can use, although it was intended for lower back pain. Jude, it's pretty faint, but I think there's a footprint on your face. Huh. I did have a dream that Agria was repeatedly stomping my head. From the size and shape of that footprint, it would seem that dream was no dream at all. What is wrong with her? Why would she do that? Maybe she was trying to apologize? Saying we got off on the wrong foot? Oh dear. 
I'm going to chalk this one up to a concussion. You don't know how close you just came to getting another boot in your face. I'm sorry for getting you tangled up in this war. Not at all. I welcome the opportunity. As a spirit, I can never forgive those who use Spyrex. It is good to have your strength on our side. You have my gratitude. Your gratitude? As a big sister, what choice do I have but to keep my little sister out of trouble? A bit condescending, aren't we? Ah, isn't it wonderful to have a family? <laughs> is that what we are? Oh. It would seem so. Is that like the base? Perhaps this is the opportunity to speak to Wingle that I've been waiting for. What do you want? Um, it's about Zhao. He's dead. Did you think he somehow survived that? <sighs> know what I heard? I heard he died protecting a spoiled little brat and her stuffed dolly. A fitting end for a foolish old man. How can you? Don't you talk that way about him! You got a problem with me saying the truth? That's enough, Agria. It's not even close to enough. The lives of the Chimeriad belong to his highness. 
But that old fool threw his away for some sniveling brat. That's true, but his sacrifice did give his highness a chance to escape. <laughs> he was an idiot right until the end. Always giving me candy when he saw me, like I was some sort of little kid. He just needs to die already. He did. <sighs> With Zhao gone, the offensive might of the Chimeriad has diminished sharply. I'm all the offensive we need. That goes for you too, Grandma. No one will miss you when you kick off. I'm relieved to hear that. Just you watch. I'll protect His Highness all by myself. <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting a headache. How am I supposed to relieve this stress when there's no one left to talk to or have a drink with? So, that's it? We're never gonna see Zhao again. Wingle, there's something I would like to ask you. Am I correct in my understanding that you led Ajul's armies at Fezabel Marsh? Using boosters to move through the marsh was a brilliant strategy. Are you mocking me? That strategy played right into Gillen's hands. You aren't the only one who failed to see through Gillen's facade. I share the same shame. I didn't realize someone who turned his back on his duty had any honor left to lose. Is that what you're doing here? Some sad attempt to return to the battlefield and erase your shame? How can you say that? Don't you make fun of Rowan? He's a great guy for someone who's so old! You were a skilled tactician in your prime, I grant you that. But how much of that skill remains today? Former Chief of Staff Ilbert, care to play a game? A game, you say? A mock battle, using a real military map. But of course, I would understand if you were reluctant to see how time has ravaged your talents. You don't need to buy into this. Hm. I accept. This board lets us control data from historic battles and see different ways they might play out. And what battle is this data from? Twenty years ago, on the Fezabel Outback. The Battle of Fezabel. The struggle between the armies of Rashigal and the former king of Ajul. Correct. It was a tragic battle in which both armies suffered heavy casualties from a giant tsunami. It was Ilbert the Conductor's one and only draw. And you wish to recreate that battle now? This is no recreation. If I had led Ajul into battle, we would have won. That is what I will prove here today. Formation Ichthys, all troops advance. The core of the Rashigal army is being pushed back. Left and right troops spread out to the wings. Surround the enemy's vanguard. It's no good. The vanguard is unstoppable. What is this power? That's Gaius's unit, their first time in battle. You won't surround them so easily. Both wings advance. Circle to the enemy's flank. Planning to launch a counterattack from my flank? Such a boring and predictable response. I'll simply attack while your troops are changing course. This battle will be won before the tsunami hits. The enemy is turning faster than Rashigal. Look out! All troops maintain forward movement! Your goal is the high ground behind the Ajul army! What? Rashigal's army is assembling on the hill! It's over. It is impossible to defeat a defending army on high ground in so short a time. Soon the tsunami will come and engulf the plains. You will have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> and this is what you call a victory? I am satisfied simply not to lose. I see. Thank you for the match, Conductor. We will settle this in a different way. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Sorry, loser! You did great, Rowan. It's because I failed in the past. If only I had used this strategy back then. I think it's great you learned from your mistake. You're still growing, even at your age. Indeed. And I still have a great deal more growing to do. 
I may even grow out of these clothes one day. You wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty-night, kid. Huh? No. Can't sleep? No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. 
Gaius. Ha. Weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh? As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude, do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. stick together <laughs> what shall we do let's see we can take that side path from the temple into the city then move along the roofs to the castle from there we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers meanwhile Gaius and the others will create their diversion sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once anyway let's go you got it How long do you intend to accompany us? However long I must. It is my duty to serve Lord Maxwell in the eradication of this Exodus group of Spyrex users. I don't recall ordering that. Your memories are your own, but it is the truth. Regardless, it sure is good to have a great spirit on our side. Yes. And I would be most grateful if you would continue to direct Tether with me. I knew it. You really uh... are in that kind of relationship. But... I... Why won't anyone explain this to me? Hmm. <laughs> don't! Don't stare at me like that! 
What exactly is this strange object that is speaking to me? Strange? Strange? Maybe you should take a peek in the mirror, weirdo! Oh my, rude as well as strange. I cannot say that I am fond of it. The mean spirit lady is calling me rude! Tipo, are you okay? Wow, she can even frazzle Tipo. I bet she really is stronger than Mila. It's her natural obliviousness that makes her so formidable. Unless that's just an act. Although that would be even scarier. That's no act. She is Mila's sister, after all. And you just say that in front of me? Who's the oblivious one now? So huh. you've lost the four and gathered these strange humans in their place. What a peculiar choice. And my band of strange companions keeps growing. Can I ask a question? What is it? It's... It's about Zhao. Do you know why he saved Elise? A difficult question. I could speculate, but we'd have no way of knowing if I was right. It looked to me like he sacrificed himself to honor a vow he had made. But what sort of vow and to whom, I couldn't begin to guess. So nobody knows. Why not ask the other members of the Chimeriad? They would know Zhao better than we do. But they're so scary. You guys do it! That could certainly huh. be arranged. However, How would you be satisfied I, with an answer that you didn't find for yourself? That's mm. true. There. Hello. My staff will try not to falter. <laughs> That's the spirit. I won't let. Perfect weather for an infiltrate. Everyone, get down. that again. Huh. Jude, behind you. Huh? <laughs> you gonna gawk all day, kid? Let's go. All right. Right. 
stronger than I look. I'm just getting started. Direction or not, we'd better keep moving before we freeze. What? Veneer! Right on point! Was this really the only one? So this is experience. Thank you. They appear to be struggling. Shouldn't we help them? Uh... Their diversion will be for naught if we join them. We have to save his highness. Don't let them lay a finger on his highness or the civilians! The people really do love him. If I'm not mistaken, your job here is still to help Mila win. That's right. Let's go, Leia. Gotcha! the bridge that it up there oh. repel the hostiles we'll have to fight our way through Force us. Then we can break through these troops. All right. Then the question is, who shall go? I'm gonna stay here and fight. Mila, you should go. Are you sure, Jude? <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your plan with these perfect ears of mine. Isn't that? survived hit the showers fraud the curtain just closed on you I'm the new star of the show now thanks Ivor I'll rest I could use a breather 
No, 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 no! This is all wrong! Now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage! Uh... Okay, in that case... I'll take care of it. Ha! You think I'm just gonna let you play the hero? Gangway! You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Huh. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own weight, I have no complaint. Anyway, let's go. Over already? Finally. I have seized control of the ship. Drop your weapons and surrender. Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop-de-loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. Idiot. Huh? What do you do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. This old man oh. can still fight. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Now! Fall! Burn! Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all. Lady Mila, are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? Huh, huh. The ship is ours! Ah. Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up. How long until we can set sail? I have every available man working to get the ship's systems under control. It may take a few hours. Looks like we still have some time. Let's rest until then. I'm gonna... Are the others around? It's just us. You still trying to figure out why Zhao saved you? Yes. Mila and Rowan weren't any help. They were like, dead guys tell no tales. That's not true! They didn't say it like that!
like that. Tipo's got a point, though. When someone passes away, his secrets die with him. But I remember something my parents told me once. They said that people who die are reborn as spirits. If that's the case, maybe the dead are always with us. Even now. We just can't see them. And that means we have to protect them. I see. You're right. I wonder what those two are talking about. You wish to speak with me? You told me earlier you have a booster implanted in your body. Why would you do such a thing? Why? <laughs> if you have to ask, then you'd never understand. But you're still just a young man. How could you throw away your life? <laughs> the answer is simple. I await my opportunity to kill the king. What? That is your reason? Gaius is worthy of the throne. That is undeniable. So I was left with only two options. Resist or submit. You are a strong young man. No, you're just a weak old one. I have given a lot of thought to what you said earlier. It would seem that Gaius is capable of leading his people down the correct path. Are you saying you'll support him? Gaius may be Rashagal's only hope now that it has lost its king. I shall summon Rashagal's finest warriors here before the battle with Exodus. With your permission, of course. A wise decision. Why are you standing out in the cold? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Maybe you should sit down and rest for a bit. Yes. Maybe this is simply fatigue. I'll take up your offer. Hmm? Feeling any better? Not really. But don't worry about it. Maybe if we just chat for a while, this will pass. Okay, sure. So, uh, what's the outside world like? Olympias. What do you wish to know? Well, stuff like the climate, how the people are, things like that. 
I don't really know. Huh. Is that strange? No, I just figured you'd know something. But it sounds like it's been some time since you've seen it. Well, I don't think it's a matter of memory. I simply just don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just curious, that's all. All I know is that Spyrex use is rampant on Olympias. Why would the people there rely on Spyrex instead of just using their manalopes? Using Spyrex is easier. No doubt the temptation was just too strong for them. They I have a question for you too, actually. My... What is it? Do you... Uh... Uh... How do I put this? You sure everything what? is okay? You're acting weird today. The ship is ready for departure. Please return to the castle. I... I guess we should head back. Music. <gasps> Don't scare Jude like that. <laughs> Mila, may I speak with you in private for a moment? You two can huh. catch up. I'll just wait back at the castle. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode.